Oh, flirting with a how ball there, our Mercury Bay Marlins. Our local team, well supported today here in Fitianga. Throwing the ball in is Paidor goalkeep, the lovely Brianna. And the umpires caught obstruction here for the Mercury Bay Marlins. So Paidor retaining position here and bringing the ball through the court. And a turnover to Mercury Bay. Oh, Lovely intercept. Lovely tip by goal defense. There's nothing in it. Here's our goalkeeper providing some stability there in the back. Still sticking in that middle court. If you're just joining us now, we're watching the under 12 grade of the Fusion Netball Tournament here in Fitianga. Under 12 grade is proudly sponsored by the Thames Coromandel District Council. A massive thank you to, to Thames Coromandel District Council for sponsoring the under 12 grade today. Hi, looking to feed it in. Paidor one, upsetting the feed. And that's a nice pass by the goal shoot to the goal attack. And we have a point on the scoreboard. That's one goal to Mercury Bay. Pidal one goal attack coming out for a beautiful centre pass. Obstruction called on Mercury Bay. One person down. Should provide some options in the circle. Umpire's calling it back now. Pidal in possession again. Goal attack working really hard in the back there and it's paid off for her. Opening up in the back for a beautiful receive and a lovely shot. It's one all on the scoreboard right now. Mercury Bay on the centre pass and in position. Straight into the circle. Just a little bit too much there. Oh, just got it again. And an unfortunate lift of wind, I would say, and so the ball heading out the back there. Paido in position. Chasing it. Obstruction called by Mercury Bay. Some great deep from the wing attack. Not a toying and throwing Mercury Bay putting their hands up over everything as they seek to turn the ball over for their team. Umpires fully in control, calling every contact as it happens. Oh, and an, ob and an offensive turnover there. A bit of uh, elbowing or contacting by Paidor in the circle. Umpires seen another turnover call there. And we have Mercury Bay throwing it in. Slipping through the hands of our little centre. So we'll probably see Pydor throwing it in. Oh no, it's been called off the foot of a Pydor player. So Mercury Bay goalkeeper. In position. It's been a long time between goals, I have to say. Again, an indication of a closely contested match here between Mercury Bay Marlins and Pydor 1. It's back and forth, back and forth. Yes, it is, and a lot of umpire involvement in this game. So we're outside the circle looking to feed it in. A nice tip by Paidor Defence. Finds their shooter under the post and have added another point to their score. So Mercury Bay taking the lead, our local team here today. Paidor in the centre pass. Goal attack is quite stunning and her centre pass receives. She's do doing a lot of work. Receiving every second pass there, the goal attack. Trying to get a little bit closer to the net. 
A lovely rebound by Golatech. And another point scored. So I understand this Paidor team is made up from representatives of a variety of schools in the Paidor uh, community. Coached by Tanya Simpson. Mercury Bay also coached by Tanya. We have Tanya Dixon looking after our Mercury Bay Marlins today. Here's our goal attack, looking for a shooter in the back. She's goal keepers today. nicely marking in the circle. The coach of Pyro will be looking to give her shooter some tips on how to get free in the back there, I'm sure, at half time. Only 50 seconds to go. Mercury Bay in possession, their shooter opening up nicely in the circle there. Nice bent knees on that shot. Really textbook and well rewarded as Mercury Bay take the lead again. 3-2. 30 Here's seconds left. Paidor's goal attack. And again, I'd say the coaching team of Mercury Bay will be looking to tightly mark Paidor goal attack. Receiving most of the center passes here today. And Mercury Bay in possession. Nice straight line, bay, uh, straight line play by the Bay team. And leave five seconds left on the clock. Can Pyro get one in before the buzzer? And that's half time here. Three goals to two for the Mercury Bay Marlins. Not a lot in it. A very closely contested game. Just talking to our umpire, Joan, here, who's looking after our under-12s um, in this game. How's the game going to you, Joan? It's really good. It's neat to see these girls out here having a really good run around and enjoying the day, even if it is a bit wet and yucky. They're going so well. And it's a lovely, clean game out there. Two beautiful teams, yeah, I have to well say. Matched. Well matched. Not a lot on the scoreboard between the two teams. Just to three points to two in favour of Mercury Bay. Who will take centre pass position on the restart, Joan? Even ball will be Pyro. So Pyro with the first opportunity to draw level. Thank you so much to our umpires um, who are looking after our ladies today. And we're taking the court ready to start again. Oh, and it's Mercury Bay in position. So they've changed ends now. We have Mercury Bay in the blue uniform with the pink bibs playing Pido in the red. And a wayward pass, but wing attack manages to flick it in court. And maintain possession. Well done. Feeding into a goal attack in the back there, who was home alone, netting a well earned goal for their team. And that takes Mercury Bay further into the lead with a score of four, I believe. Oh, answered nicely by Pydor. Mercury Bay Centre looking for her players, oh. choosing to use the back option. Oh, and that was a very lucky opportunity for Mercury Bay. Goal attack in position. Finding her goal shooter in the back. I can see there's been a change in the back there and a beautiful goal scored. She's on fire today, Josiah. Goal attack on title. Is. And I can see they've made a change in the back there as I thought they might. Looking to provide um, some Great options. Tip from the goal keep. She's doing some lovely defense in the back, Mercury Bay's goal keep. Really steady in the back there. Reliable oh. keeper for her team. Oh, and a beautiful turnover for Mercury Bay. It's a goal shoot there, trying to avoid a replay call. Unfortunately, none of her teammates were close enough to pick it up for her. 
So Pido in possession. Goal attack standing down. Yes, I would agree. That was a weenie bit close there by Mercury Bay's wing attack. Standing down for obstruction. Paidor in possession. Looking to take the lead as the scores are even. Paidor goalish attack. Not wanting to take a long shot. And I would agree. That's a replay ball on the wing attack there. Goalkeeper in possession. She's nice and steady under pressure. Mercury Bay looking for their shooters. Goal shoot doing a lot of work in the back yeah. there to get free for her team. Sorry. A and a nice today. turn over there by Paido, a good tip. So sitting at four all and just four minutes left on the clock. And a contact called on the Paido Centre. And a big shout out to Subway, who's just sent down some wonderful lunch for our for our events team today. Subway Fitianga. If you're in Fitianga today, we can highly recommend their Subway sandwiches. Big shout out to them for looking after us today. So looking at the scoreboard, we're 5-4. There's not a lot in it. We have 3 minutes 20 to go. Totally possible to regain the lead. Here's our Paido goal shoot. Oh, an unfortunate miss. And goal attack having a crack. They're working really well together, the goal shoot and goal attack. Yes, really they are. Just two. unfortunately not netting those much-needed goals. The wind, the wind is playing. Win today. I wouldn't want to be a shooter in weather no. like this. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a defender's day today. I have to say, though, we have seen some lovely shooting out here today. Yeah. Wind, rain and all. Mercury Bay in possession. Looking for their shooters and lovely movement in there from their shooters. And another goal added to their lead. Now 6-4 to Mercury Bay. Ah, and goal attack just a little quicker than the umpire's whistle. Breaking on the centre pass there and turning the ball over. And now they've regained possession. Goal shoot in the back, home alone. Ah, and another miss. She's got beautiful movement, I have to say, though, the goal shooter. She has. Mercury Bay bringing it through. High one for the goal attack. It's a nice Irene-like split there. She's by the goal attack. Wonderfully. Trinity Holmes from the Mercury Bay Marlins. She's Awesome. She featured nicely in the game we saw earlier as well. And a turnover there, so Pidal with an opportunity to close the gap in the last one minute and 20 seconds of the game. And they're bringing it through the court centre in position. And the goal. Oh, oh she tried her best. Save it almost secured a back pass but the ball slipped out the back of the court here she is in position again and moving nicely into the circle and a beautiful goal I have to say i'm a bit of a fan of the Pidor goal attack it's definitely a standout in her team doing a lot of work every second ball gorgeous play today here's our goalkeeper for mercury bay featuring again it's a contact there, playing on with the advantage. Goal attack, looking for a shooter. She's secure under that ball and almost puts the ball away. And a nice quick tip there to the ball by the Pidor goalkeeper. Mercury Bay feeding it in. Ah, 
I thought that was worth a try. Wing attack, just not quite meeting with her goal attack in the back there. So Paidor in the last four seconds looking to add a goal to their team. And there we have it folks, Mercury Bay Marlins with their second win 